Let's turn now to someone with a strong pulse on the consumer economy, as well as real estate, restauranting. Tillman Fertitta, chairman of Landry's, the name behind Del Frisco's, Mastro Steakhouse, Rainforest Cafe, Bubba Gump's, and much more. In addition to the Golden Nugget Hotel and Casino Empire and the NBA's Houston Rockets, Tillman Fertitta, welcome. Good to have you with us. I have to begin with this. I had your beloved uh, University of Houston in my brackets, at least two out of three of them. I'm so sorry they didn't win. I'm sorry, too, Tyler, because I had them also. But when your All-American gets hurt during the tournament, that's what happens. He and, was a uh, heck of a player. Uh, he is. And he went out with a bad ankle there in, uh, I forget whether it was the semifinal or whatever, but it was a tough game. Anyway, let's talk uh, inflation and how you're feeling it across your business. Uh, wages are up uh, even more than inflation. How are you feeling it? And do you think in any sense inflation is coming under control? Inflation is definitely coming under control, but uh, it's not coming fast enough. And if you go back and, and look at all the times I've been on here in the last couple of years, and, and I always kept saying, Tyler, that if we don't get a, a hold of this labor inflation, we're going to continue to have a problem. And the problem is there's not enough workers in the workforce, so we're still all fighting for workers, and therefore it's continuing to cause wages to go up. And are that's there, the big are there problem not enough, out there. Are there not enough workers or not enough legal workers or not enough workers who want to do the jobs that are on offer? I, I think it's all the above. You have to remember we let these people in the country but then we tell them they cannot work because they don't have the papers to work. And that's where I have the biggest problem with immigration is if you're going to let them in and you're going to turn them loose in a city, why not immediately give them a piece of paper that allows them to work? So all these people that are running all over New York don't have any right to work, and we're supporting them, the United States of America and the city of New York, which I'm in right now. Makes a, makes a lot of sense to it to enable people who are here to work perhaps what I'm no expert on immigration so I, I, I skate on very thin ice here to allow them to to work pending whatever judicial proceedings may be, be against them or, or whatever. Lay You're saying it perfectly, Tyler. Yeah. You're saying it perfectly. Tim, and I just want to go back to your inflation point. Yes, the numbers show us that it's coming under control, though it may be sticky, but there's been this sort of discussion that people aren't feeling that way. They're still seeing higher mortgage rates, gas prices. What does foot traffic look like in your restaurant businesses? Is that at odds with the data? Everything is not 21 and 22. 23 slowed down a little bit. That's all retail. That's restaurants. Your foot traffic is down a little bit. But because of inflation and prices, our same-store sales aren't off very much at all. But the high end is still feeling it, and I think it's going to continue to feel it until we get... You can't charge 75 and $80 for a prime steak, but yet because the herds are still small, that is what you're having to pay. So until we get our arms around the beef industry especially, there's a lot of other proteins that are starting to come down. But beef is the one that still has us totally locked up, especially the higher-end beef. 